So we have a geometric sequence where the fourth term is 250 and the sum of the first four terms is 312. We want to find the first term A and the common ratio R. Now if the fourth term is 250, using my first formula, 250 must be equal to A R cubed. And if the sum of the first four terms is 312, then 312 must be equal to A lots of R to the 4 minus 1 over R minus 1. Okay, using that formula there. So, if we call this equation 1 and this equation 2, what I want to do is to first rearrange equation 1 to get A in terms of R. So, A will be 250 divided by R cubed. Now, if I substitute that into equation 2, I will get 312 to be 250 over R cubed, that's the A, times R to the 4 minus 1, all over R minus 1. So let's tidy this up. Let's multiply both sides by the R minus 1. So 312 R minus 312 is equal to, multiplying through this bracket, 250, oh, let's write like this, 250 over R cubed times R to the 4 is just 250 R. Take away 250 over R cubed. Now if I multiply everything by the R cubed, that's 312 r to the 4, take away 312 r cubed, is equal to 250 r to the 4, take away 250. Now let's move everything onto one side of the equation. I'll move everything onto the left-hand side. 312 r to the 4, take away 250 r to the 4, will leave me with 62 r to the 4. The 312 r cubed can stay where it is, Ooh. and I can add the 250 to both sides, like that, okay? So I now have this quartic equation. Now, rather than simplifying this down, okay, I'm gonna plug this straight into my uh, quartic equation solver on the calculator. So we could have 62 uh, minus 312 and 250. So, oh sorry, 0, 0, 250. So, we get R to be 5, or 1, or 2 imaginary values. So these are actually the only two real values of R that I could get. Okay, so, um, for that, we then need to check whether these work, okay? Do they both work, or does only one work, okay, in order to find A? So, by the way, you could have got to that. Um, you would have had to have used uh, some polynomial division uh, to get there. Um, so, probably simplest way of doing it would be um, trying R is 1, so 62 take away 3 on 2 plus 250, uh, sorry, um, trying, yeah, sorry, trying 1, then we get 0, then you could use dividing by, through by R minus 1 to get a cubic, okay, um, and then trying uh, 5, that would also work, then dividing through by R minus 5, to get down to a quadratic, then that quadratic, uh, you can check whether it can be solved uh, using the discriminant, which we can see from the quartic solver that it wouldn't be. So we would only have these two real values. So you could get from that to that stage algebraically. It's a little bit long-winded, okay, but can be done using what we've learned so far. So, we're going to substitute both of those into equation 1, which makes sense. So when r is 5, then we get 250 is equal to a times 5 cubed. So that would mean, because 5 cubed is 125, 250 divided by 125 is 2, so a is 2. Okay? So we then need to check that that works in equation number 2. 
So if I use two, so two times by five to the four take away one over five take away one, I get 312. So this certainly works in equation number two. Now, if we try r is 1, then we get 250 is equal to a times 1 cubed. So a would have to be 250. So let's try that in this one. Well, I can already see that when r is 1, then this denominator will be 0. So this is not a solution okay r is one will not work in that formula so that means that a equals two r equals five is the only way that we could have this correct information